So let's look at a possible group law for elliptic curves. So there's a famous uh, theor theorem that says that every line cuts through the elliptic curve in exactly three points. This is somewhat of a simplification of this theorem, but the exact theorem is not important to us here. So if we want to use elliptic curves in cryptography, for example for Diffie-Hellman, we need a group, so let's just define a group law. So let's just arbitrarily define that all points on a line add up to a mystical point called the point at infinity. So if we then say, okay, this mystical point at infinity, also called poif, is our neutral element for the group we want to define. So then, since this is the neutral element, we can say, okay, p plus q equals to the inverse of the same point on the line. And the inverse in an elliptic curve is just the point mirrored on the x-axis, so the y-coordinate is inverted, additively inverted. So if we want to add two points, we draw a line through those points, and this line will intersect the curve at a third point. And if it does so, we just have to invert this point by inverting the y-coordinate. And then we have the result of this computation. So there are four overall cases that we need to consider. Um, the standard case where the line goes through a third point and then we just mirror it and we have uh, our result. The case where the line goes through one specific point twice. Um, we'll see more about that, talk more about that later. And the case where the two points are already inverse to each other, and they're flipped on the x-axis. Then this third point that it goes through is the point at infinity. And the fourth case where the point is actually sitting on the x-axis, so if we flip the y-coordinate, we end up on the same point. So this point is inver inverse to itself. Then the third point is also the point at infinity. So for now, intuitively, you can imagine the point at, of infinity be somewhere all the way up on the y-axis. But we'll see what this point at infinity is a bit later. So now we actually have a group for all elliptic curves, once we have spe specified the curve parameters a and b, and this group is the points on the curve are the underlying set, so all points that are lay on the curve's equation. Um, the group operation is point addition, so adding points to each other. The point at infinity is the neutral element, and every point has an inverse, because by the curve equation you can tell that all points have a flipped point as well. So, we have a group, but actually we still need to talk about what this point addition actually is. Like, how do we add those points in a proper formula? And that we'll talk about next.